evening all. Um, most cry enthusiasts will have heard of um, the name Chogoro, who produces uh, Prachina. Um, well, his, his, his surname was uh, Hiroi and sadly he's passed away now. But his son is um, r running the business now and running it very well. He's, he's also a very nice guy like his father was. And um, anyway, uh, the first visit I, I made to Chogoro was um, via a guy whose name surname was uh, Nishioka. But I always referred to him in my mind as uh, Rolex Sam because every time he, 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 he visited the Mia Koya auction to buy Koi, he'd come with a different Rolex watch on every time. Anyway, after one of these auctions at Mia Koya, um, I always caught the train from Nagaoka to Ojia and walked from the station to Miyakoya because it was convenient and quick. Um, uh, and um, after the auction finished and I was taking photos of the koi I bought, um, I, I, I happened to mention to Rolex Sam, you know, I'd been looking, searching high and low for two-year-old Prachina. And he said, oh, you, you come with me. He said, I'll, I'll take you to uh, Chogoro. That was the first time I'd heard the name. Anyway, it's only oh, half a mile or so from Miyakoya. That's Chogoro's place. And um, we got there this... Um, late October afternoon to find just literally thousands upon thousands of beautiful Nisai Prachina. I think Nishioka bought um, 2,000 um, and I, I bought about a hundred. That was the first time I visited um, I got to know the family quite well at Chogoro and uh, even asked him to teach me how he produced fry from his parent koi. So um, he employed me for a few days uh, for free of course, I got food, but um, uh, to urea powder into his mud ponds so that the fry would have sufficient food when when they hatched anyway um many years later many years later i i always uh, bought some prachina from uh, chogoro uh but many years later we i had a party with with me dennis and myself we had a party of um quite wealthy koi buyers and we just um, visited the All Japan show and thought we'd take a, a trip to uh, Niigata to see uh, it was the, the middle of winter um, we knew that you, you couldn't um, you could only buy koi from those who had um, indoor houses uh, but th on this occasion they they two or three of them needed Sansai Prachina uh, I thought well I know the guy who breeds the best ones but I, I doubt if they'll be on display now he'll, he'll have taken them uh, to Koide or somewhere else where he um, can keep them in, in uh, warmer water uh, anyway, we 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 turned up. Chogro was um, welcomed us as per normal, 
and um, I mentioned to him I needed um, Sansai Pratch, you know. You know, in them days it'd be, be about uh, 50 centimetres, something like that. Anyway, he had a word with his wife in the house and came out with piles of uh, snowshoes. Um, I'd never worn them before and um, he drove us in, in his truck and we followed in our truck. Um, to, it was only a few hundred yards away from his house and um, there was a huge rice paddy there about two feet deep of snow and um, he got out of his truck and, and started to put the snowshoes on so we thought we'd better do the same uh, and so we did I'd never walked in sh snowshoes before um, anyway he sets off across this rice paddy and uh, the rest of us just followed him um, and in one corner of the rice paddy, he led us to what looked like a, a natural pond. Well, the difference being was that, that this was um, producing steam. There was obviously heat escaping into the, um, into the air. Well, as we approached the pond, we saw about 30 incredible Sansai Prachina. It, it was, it, it, it was, it was a, a memory I'll never forget because the snow was blinding and so were the Prachinas. It was hard to say what was the whitest of the whitest of the white, but... Um, Apparently, the pond was fed by an underground stream that, that never dropped, I think he said, below 55, 50, 50 or 55 C, something like that. These Prachina were in perfect condition. They, they looked stunning. Um, all of them were females because that, that's the only one he, ones he kept until they reached Sansai, when, when they reached Sansai. Uh, that was a hell of a memory I, I, I have uh, to see these wonderfully white Prachinas next to the snow. Thanks for listening.